Let's talk about how to make double and triple bonds. Maybe the best way to do that, uh, let's form an oxygen molecule. So oxygen has two bonding sites, it can bond two things, but in this case, if you wanna form an oxygen molecule, just O2, you wanna bond oxygen to itself. In this case, you're gonna need the extra double bonding pieces. They look like this, they have a larger flat surface and a smaller flat surface. This is for triple bonds and the larger surface is for double bonds. So if you connect one double bond piece, uh, connecting two of the flat faces on the oxygen and another one on the other side, you have formed O2. Two oxygens, this is an oxygen molecule. This is what you breathe in. But you know, the majority of air is not oxygen, it's nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is another diatomic gas. Diatomic mean, meaning two atoms. So uh, here we actually have three flat surfaces on two uh, nitrogen atoms. And so we're going to need to triple bond them, although they're trying to single bond themselves right now. So we need three of these pieces and you use the small flat side uh, to attach to the nitrogens like that. Try to get those uh, flat surfaces facing each other. Then you attach the next one. Again, make sure you've got the small flat side. And finally, the third one. There we have N2, two nitrogen atoms, triple bonded together. This is the major component of the atmosphere. While we're here, why don't we make another important uh, gas molecule in the atmosphere, and that is carbon dioxide. This again involves double bonds because we've got four, four flat faces on the carbon, but we're only gonna bind it to two things, these two oxygen atoms. So I'm gonna take two double bonded pieces, again using the large flat sides to connect up two surfaces on the carbon and the two on the oxygen. Now, once you've done this, we have filled all of the bonding sites on the carbon and the oxygens, and we have CO2, and this is a double bonded molecule. So that is how you use double and triple bonded pieces.